open this door! Okay, I know who you are and I know what you're trying to do. And it's not gonna work. Come on, I know you're in there, Reed. Open the door! Uh, is that what you do, Reed? You terrorize your neighbors, you know what? You just fucked with the wrong neighbor! Reed, open the fucking door! Ah! I'm gonna kill you! Reed, I'm gonna kill you! This is it. I can't believe it. Our new place. I cannot wait to show you the inside. Is it pretty? It's got potential. Am I gonna love it? You're gonna welcome the challenge. It's a shithole, huh? Hey, Ash. It's not a shithole, right? That's all that matters. Oh, right? Chad and Ash is a new shithole. Yeah. I can't wait. Ash, look, um, you know, it's all no beginning for us, so. Everything that happened back home stays in the past, okay? I love you, too. I know. You ready? Let's do it! <sighs> oh, hey, Ash. <laughs> um... I wanted a way to do this. I thought I needed the perfect timing, but you know, since today's the day of new beginnings, well, I thought maybe it's the right moment to propose another one. <laughs> I got a <you>. chance. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Decorations, a house plant. It's perfect. Look, look, wait till you see the kitchen. Okay, come here. Nice, huh? Right? Look at all this condo space, right? It certainly is spacious, sweetie. We good? And the stove? Check this out. Can't wait to cook something in it. <laughs> Oh, look at this. It's even got a dishwasher. Huh? Look at all those buttons. Who oh, knows what those are for? Check this. <laughs> you don't wanna. Um, probably get the landlord to fix that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Do you wanna see the bedroom? small, right? It's smaller than our last place. I'm sorry. I wish I could afford something better, but I can't right now. Chad? So we just... It's perfect. Sure. As long as I'm with you, then it's home to me. I love you, Ash. I know.
going in. Fire in the shower! Are, are you kidding me? Hey, breathe. Are you kidding me? Is, is that what you're is that what you're in here screaming about the holy murder? I was still there! A spider a spider ash. Come on, alright? You probably woke up all the neighbors. You please? Holy shit! That is so gross! You have to get it! Get it! Get it! Was that in there the whole time? I don't know! <laughs> shit, Ash, how can you miss something? Chad, I don't know! Just kill it, okay? Kill it? I need a freaking nine iron to kill that scratch a three one no, to kill that thing! Get it! Just get it! <laughs> okay, I'll get it. I'll be right back. Let's hurry up! It's crawling up the wall! Oh, Jack, come on! What are you doing? All right, stay back. I got this bitch. Okay. Wait, wait, wait! What? That's what? That's my hairspray. That's my hairspray. Are you kidding me? He's big. Look at him. First, I'm gonna hit him with the hairspray. Then we're gonna get him the poop. Chad, that's just expensive. Jeez, Ash, you want me to kill this thing or not? Look. I gotta make sure I get him in one try, because if I don't, he's liable to get away and hold some kind of vendetta against us. Do you want that? Like like the shark in Jaws 4? Do you remember that fine, movie? Fine, fine, use as much as you want, but you just keep Thank it. Thank you. Okay, let me just... My strategy's gonna... Okay. What are you waiting for? Ah! Look, I have no idea what kind of spider this is, okay? Give me one of those crazy goddamn jumping spiders. Just give me a second. God. Okay. Ah! Oh god, it's going up the wall! Oh, I got it! 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 Oh, yeah. Feisty little guy. Oh, maybe we should say a prayer for it, right? Will you get rid of it? Oh, oh, don't. Okay, okay, thank you. You know what? Maybe you should kiss goodbye. Jack, right? you look an asshole! No? What you reading? Words. Whose words? None of your business. Everything you look at is my business. You're so possessive. This is part of my charm. I'm sorry, am I ignoring you? Oh no, not at all. I only risked my life for you today, but that's fine. Keep reading. Oh, right, I chapter know. Chapter five, chapter six. You're my hero. Right? Oh, I'm your hero now. You're my spider now warrior. I'm your spider warrior, huh? <laughs> Why do you taste like booze? What? No, I don't. Chad? <sighs> it's been a really long day, Ash. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, Ash, come on. It was no big deal. It is a big deal. Let go. <sighs> Ash. Hey. 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 It was a... Stop. It was a long drive. Okay, I've been moving furniture <laughs> all day. <laughs> the bureau, the TV... It's... You know how you get when you drink. It was nothing, Ash, honestly. You lied to me. I know, but I'm not letting it get out of control. You're just I'm making so excuses. I'm not making excuses, Ash. Ash, will you look at me? No. Ashley. No, what? Chad. Ashley. What? 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 I'm sorry. Hey, hey. Never again, okay? Never again. I promise. Remember what you said? Yeah. About new beginnings? Mm -hmm. Starting over? Yeah. Did you mean that? Of course I meant that. We have to be able to trust each other. Hey, we can, okay? We can, we can. Look, I'm sorry, I screwed up. I I won't let it happen again, I promise. Pinky swear. <laughs> what are you, like 12? Pinky swear. I'm not pinky swearing. Pinky swear. Are you serious? 
Okay. Yeah, okay. You didn't kiss your hand. Oh, Jesus Christ, Ash. I'm not kissing It my doesn't hand. count if you don't kiss your hand. That's our way of doing it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Hey, are you happy now? Yeah. Good. Checks in the mail. Oh, no, excuse me, Miss, Mr. Reed. Yes. Hi, um, my name's Chad Morgan. I just moved into the apartment next door. Do you think, do you think you have a second to talk? What can I do for you? Well, I'm your new neighbor, so I wanted to come by and introduce myself. Great. What can I do for you? <laughs> Mr. Reed, um, I just moved here from out of town. I'm a pretty private person, like you are yourself as I take it. Look, kid, if this is some kind of new inventive sales pitch, I'm not biting. Do you think you can explain to me what it was you were doing outside my window last night? Come again? Last night outside my house. What was that all about? I have no idea what you're talking about, kid. Uh, wait a second. Excuse me, Mr. Reed. You know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? 2 a.m. Last night, you were looking into my bathroom window. So don't act stupid, just cut the bullshit. Let me see if I got this straight. You say you saw somebody outside your house in the middle of the night looking at you through your window. What makes you think it was me? I saw you. Did you? I mean, did you really? Don't you think that maybe in your drowsy, half-awake state of mind. You may have seen someone else who looks like me. Or maybe you didn't see anyone at all. No, because I know what I saw and it was you. Oh, yeah? Yes. Let me tell you something, kid. I deal with a lot of people like you in my line of work, and you know what I always find to be true? Most people are far too eager to jump to conclusions, so I'm going to give you a little advice. The next time you feel your paranoia getting the best of you, I want you to stop, take a deep breath, and ask yourself, should I really go bother that nice man who lives next door? And for future reference, I'll sleep in on Saturdays. Is this good? Yeah, it's perfect. All right, give me a few more. Just. Right, right there. 
All right, now listen. Enough of this phony come hither shit, right? It's useless. It's not working for me. Show me something. Right now. Do it. Yes. Yeah, that's much better. That looks amazing. Oh my God. There it goes. It's so beautiful out here. Yeah. It's not too shabby. You know, we should make this our new place. What do you mean? You know, our place. Where we come when we want to clear our heads. Wrong. Yeah, no, no. I just got a lot in my mind. I mean, I gotta finish unpacking, gotta get the editing station set up, gotta stop moving for work. It's not easy. You're lucky, you know. You? It's just transfer locations. It's not like there's any shortage of career opportunities for cute bartenders, right? Yeah, I guess. Chad, look. Look, those two guys over there. Look at those guys in the top hats. What, where? Right there. Yeah, so what? So, grab your camera. Give me a good one. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Look at those guys. You get it? <laughs> Classic. Okay, we're set up. You got the premium cable package. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bomb. Yeah. Telephone landline. Mm -hmm. High speed modem. Do you need help setting that up? I think I can manage. Are you sure? That could be really tricky. I don't know. I work with the computer, so I'm pretty sure I know how to set up a modem. Oh, you work with computer. Okay. Works with computers. Customer refuses installation. Let me just sign right there, please. Okay. And, um, what's my phone number gonna be? Your phone number is located on the bottom of the sheet. This is your receipt. You have yourself a good day. Thank you. I'm really late for work, and I just need you to get up and kill the spider that's on the kitchen counter. <sighs> Chad, I'm sorry, please. You know I can't kill those things. I hate them. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, Ash. You know that, right? No one's drinking right now. I know, but I have to go in for training. My boss what day wants is me it? there early. What day is it? Chad, please just promise me you'll take care of our spider problem. Ash, we don't have a spider problem, okay? <laughs> I beg to differ, sweetheart. Oh? Three arachnid sightings in a 24-hour period qualifies as a spider problem. I'd say we're on code red here in the coffin. The coffin? Yep, the What's coffin. That? That's my nickname for our new place. A small, cramped basement apartment swarming with bugs. All we're missing is the velvet lining. Are you going to talk to our landlord today or not? Yes. Okay, I'll see if I can dig up his number. If I can't find it. Uh... Don't bother. I found this in the mail. And what is this? That is all the realtor information. It says that on the first of the month, you stick the rent check in the mailbox upstairs labeled Shelby. So I guess the guy who owns this place lives right above us, which gives you no excuse, right? Not only that, the trash has to be on by seven. <sighs> Chad, will you please just take care of this? Whoa, all will. you have to do is ring the doorbell and get this fixed. Otherwise, I'm moving in with the first attractive man who orders a $12 drink off with <laughs> him. First drink I bought off of you was eleven dollars. And that would be the point is to move up in this world as someone who can afford a place that isn't insect infested. Okay. Kill that spider, or you're not getting laid tonight. Oh Ash, don't forget yourself. Phone. Thank you.
Mr. Shall we live here? You trying to sell me a Bible? What? A Bible? No. Is, is Mr. Shelby here? Come on yeah. inside. Is this the pizza guy? Does it look like he has a fucking pizza in his hands? Don't strain your eyes or nothing. Just take a quick little gander. Eat shit. Hey, Bible salesman, have a seat. We're in the middle of a really intense Street Fighter 2 tournament, and I gotta finish whipping this little broad's ass. So just hang tight, and I'll be with you in one moment. You ain't whipping shit. Really? Then why is my health bobbin depleted? Would you unpause the game when I went to answer the door? What's your damage? Are you on the rag or something? Sure it isn't time to change your tampon? No, actually, I like to stew in it, dickhead. Are you ready to watch your little mutant bitch boy take his final bow? You're dead. You're fucking dead. Oh, no, no. Actually, you're dead. Five consecutive wins, bitch. Damn it. So what's up, Bible salesman? What can I do for you? <sighs> I'm not a Bible salesman. Look, I think I got the wrong place. No, 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 you're in the right place. You're looking for Mr. Shelby, right? Yeah, right, not in this lifetime, pal. Mr. Shelby is my father. I'm his daughter, Jordan. I am Chad. I just moved into the first floor. Oh. You're the new tenant. Yeah, look, you know, I'm sorry to just come up like this, but I was hoping I could talk to the landlord for a second. The landlord. The lord of the land. You're looking at her. But... Didn't you just... Hold that me? thought. Wait, 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 So she's my landlord? For your soul. Chad Morgan, by the way. I'm Jordan's friend. Sometimes roommate, Dixon Rampart. Dixon. <laughs> Dixon. As in, my dick's in your mouth. You got a problem with that? Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's a cool name. <laughs> my fucking parents gave me that name. You're going to fucking make fun of it the first time I meet you. Where the fuck are you from? Free pizza is going to be here in 10 minutes. New neighbors. Oh, I'm, I'm all set. Fuck you mean you're all set? I'm... I'm all set, you know, think I'm cool? Like shit, you're cool. You come to somebody's house, they offer you a drink, and you decline? Which I've like offered you a wine cooler or something? <laughs> How about a strawberry daiquiri? You know what? Let me go in the kitchen, I'll whip you up a nice pussy-ass apple martini. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll have a beer. Oh man, that ship has sailed. No, oh, really, I'll, I'll take it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. No peer pressure. I'll take it. Spark it up, guy. Smoke it, man. Yeah. 
It's good shit, huh? It's like Northern Lights, but a little bit stronger. <sighs> Shit's gonna keep you clogged for hours. Look, I'm I'm a little confused. I think somebody told me that the deal is here. My father owns this house. He owns the one next door too. But as far as you're concerned, I'm your landlord. Seriously? Yeah. Dude, don't camp on that shit. Oh, sorry. Um, so you don't actually have like an actual job or anything? Me? Yeah. No. I don't believe in the concept. Mm. Why do you? Well, yeah, how else would I be able to get an apartment? Hey, if that's what works for you, I don't judge. What do you do? Um, you know, I do different forms of freelance photography, mostly video editing gigs, stuff like that. No way, like portos and shit? <laughs> no. Like weddings, private events sometimes, corporate videos, things like that. Why did I come up here again? Oh, that's right. So, Miss Shelby. Look, the reason why I came up here is because me and my girlfriend have noticed- You have a girlfriend? Yeah, my girlfriend, Ashley, she lives downstairs with me. Okay, continue. Well, we've noticed an unusual amount of spiders. Did you say spiders? Um, yeah, why? Jordan, you gotta tell her. I don't gotta do shit, dick. Whoa, 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 wait, tell me, tell me what? All right, all right, fine. I usually don't say anything to the tenants. But since you seem like a nice guy, I guess it's only right that I give you fair warning. I don't know if you've had a chance to check out the surrounding area since you've gotten here. But when you do, you're gonna start to notice a pattern emerging. And you're gonna ask yourself, why are there so many cemeteries? If you investigate further, you're gonna start to wonder, well, why are they so crowded? See, this whole area is filled with graveyards, some of which were even located right here before they were dug up and moved. <laughs> you think I'm shitting you? I am not shitting you. I am dead serious. We are five miles away from the city. Land gets sold, cemeteries get moved, so that house is gonna be put up for sale. No, 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 wait a minute, I, I, don't, I don't get it. What does this have to do with spiders? The spiders... are how it starts. Only a few at first. Then more and more gradually. Then there's the face in the bathtub. Usually people move out by then. If you stick around long enough, They'll start to show up. Well, you won't see them, of course. But you will know they're there. In the shadows, the darkness, it plays tricks on your mind. Haven't you ever had the feeling you were being watched? The feeling that somebody was peering out at you while your back was turned? Your whole life you were told suspicion is just your imagination. But it's not. It's them, biding their time. Watching. Waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just so fucking with you, man. Did you see the look on his face? That shit works every time. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious myself. Oh, I'm I such a it. pussy. All right, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna plug this into an outlet in whichever room you see them the most. With, okay? Mm -hmm. What this bad Larry does is it makes this noise that fucks up their receptors and shit and just and confuses them and then they can't find their food. They get so pissed off that they just bounce. Couple days with this sticking out of your wall and you'll never see those bastards again. Promise.
Are they slow moving, Chief? Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed up. Well... I know you're out here, Mr. Reed, okay? I'm getting sick and tired of these foolish games. Why don't you stop being such a child and show yourself, huh? I'm going to the police, okay? I'm going to tell them everything. All right, fine. Right, you, know, you know, you brought this upon yourself. Just remember that, okay? Excuse me, uh, Detective Winters? Yep. Hi, the officer up front told me to come up here. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Nope, not at all. Have a seat. I'll be right with you. Thanks. What's your name, sir? Uh, it's Chad Morgan, sir. Care for a donut, Chad Morgan? Oh, no. Thank you. <laughs> Guys are in the ethos, huh? Oh, yeah. So, what can I do for you? Well, the reason why I'm here is because I'd like to file a complaint against my neighbor. Domestic dispute? Uh, no, not necessarily. And, uh, making loud noises, playing music late at night? No, it's nothing like that. Well, why don't you tell me what the problem is, then? See, the thing is, I just moved here from out of town. Me and my girlfriend, we just got this uh, apartment. That's my girlfriend and I? Right, sorry, my girlfriend and I just got this apartment over on Broadway, and... The first night we were there, I caught him peeking into my bathroom window at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. Since then, I've been getting these strange phone calls. You have caller ID on your phone? Yes, but the number just keeps coming up blocked. But you're certain it was him looking in through the windows? I'm pretty certain. You're pretty certain? Well, Mr. Morgan, pretty certain is not really enough. I can't arrest a man on that. I'm sure it was him, Detective. All right, here's what I can do. I'll talk to your neighbor, ask him a few questions. I'll let him know there's been some complaints in the area about someone creeping around at night and looking in neighbor's windows. Based on what you've given me here, I don't really have the grounds to start an investigation. But I'll give you my word, I will speak with the man. Fair enough? Fair enough. All right. Why don't you give me his name, write okay. down his address. Okay. I'll get on it. Okay. All right, then. Oh, all set? I'll be in touch. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to... I'm sorry. see anybody creeping around my place this afternoon, did you? No. Are you sure you didn't hear any strange noises coming from downstairs or anything like that? Nah, ma'am. Why? What's going on? Well, I haven't been home all day and it looks like someone's been in my apartment. Well, I was down there a little earlier. You were? Yeah, I had to steal that gadget back from you. I found a spider in my bathroom this morning that was the size of a Buick. I did have a piece of that pie you guys had in the fridge. That shit was delicious. 
girl baked that for you? Well, I, no, 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 that's some stop and shop. Look, Jordan, I gotta go. I'll call you. cell phone on the table. Yeah, I, I just keep forgetting it. I don't know why. <laughs> you have a missed call on it. Why don't you see what's from? I'll check later. I, I want to take a shower and... Look at your phone and see who your missed call is from. Pick it up. Why is he calling you, actually? I don't know. You don't know? I thought we were done with all this. Jeff, I haven't spoken to him in months. It's... No, it's taken me a very long time to forgive you for what happened, but I have. I know. Yeah? I thought about it long and hard, and I came to the conclusion that I love you more than I hate what you've done. The slate's clean. The past is in the past and it's beyond us now. But when I come home to see that he's still calling you, I have to ask myself, is this whole thing really a rest? It is, Chad. I promise. I it's over. You have to trust me. I Ash. made a mistake. Ash. If he calls you again. I want you to know that I'll only be through, but I will get in my car, and I will drive back home, and I'll fucking kill him. I will fucking kill him. Do you understand me? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> well, uh, Go take a shot. Okay. I'm gonna go out for a while. Hey, how come Chad hasn't said anything in like 10 minutes or so? I don't know. I don't think he's getting laid anymore. He had a fight with his girl. That would definitely make sense. Hey, you think if we keep talking about him like he's not here, he'll actually say something? Well, we're not gonna know unless we try, right? Good point. <laughs> hey. Maybe it's because Chad pisses the bed at night. That's really the reason him and his girl are fighting. Well, I certainly wouldn't rule it out as a possibility. <laughs> maybe he's got a cock problem. That's what it is. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he means that shit, that Viagra shit. I wouldn't doubt it. Jesus. You guys are like little kids. Hey, quit touching me! I'm touching you! You're in my space! You're touching me! I'm not, I'm not touching you! You're invading my space with a fruitless attempt to try to fucking throw me off my game. Fuck it off, you fucking bitch. Enough. Bitch. I rest my case. <sighs> so, Chad, lay it on us. What happened with you and your girl? I'd rather not get into it. Don't be an asshole. Pretend I'm Dr. Phil, and you're an overweight, undersexed, middle-aged woman. Pour your heart up to me. It's not even this. Oh, stop it. You come up here sulking, you drink my beer, you smoke my weed, now it's none of my business? What kind of friend are you? Well, if you're not gonna give us these juicy, sloppy details, at least tell us how you met this mysterious bombshell, will ya? Hi. Hi. 
Anything good? I mean, your, yeah, your book. Any good? Yeah, it's um, chiclet. Ah, right. Let me guess. Trashy romance junk written by someone with a name like Scarlet Rose. Bunch of overly descriptive sex stuff in it. Maybe a Fabio looking dude half naked on the cover. Yeah. Something like that. I figured. So what are you drinking? It's a Babies. Babies. I bet that's the perfect drink to go with that book. Yeah. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm just um, just trying to finish this chapter uh, here and I'm um, losing my spot. Right, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Because, I mean, I was only asking because I wanted to know if I could buy another one. So. You know what? I was actually just heading out. Have a good night. I figured you could use something strong. Oh, you saw that? Oh, I saw that. And I have to admit, it's pretty brutal. Jesus. All right, look, for future reference, don't ever criticize a book a girl's reading. <laughs> it's trying to be charming. Yeah, it didn't look that way from where I was standing. Can I get another one of these? Sure. Thanks. You're gonna have to pay for this one, though. <sighs> okay. I'm generous. I'm not that generous. No. So what do I owe you? Eleven dollars. Eleven. Eleven dollars for that? It's Lagavulin in 16. Eleven is practically a discount. You guys carry Lagavulin in 16 here. Only the best for the best. Oh, really? The best. <laughs> dive like this. Come on now, why don't you tell me what you really I'm just joking. Yeah. You can keep the change on that. Don't think you can just buy my affection, mister. <laughs> I'm Chad, by the way. I'm Ashley. Ashley? Mm-hmm. Dude, that was the gayest fucking story I have ever heard. No, if the bartender were a dude, it'd be the gayest story ever. As it stands, it's a heterosexual tale with alarmingly cheesy overtones. Hey, what's the deal with this guy Reed that lives next door? Never heard of him. He lives right over there. Didn't you say you got owned that place? You know what, Pete? That is it, man. The guy doesn't live in my building. I'm not necessarily acquainted with him, am I? All right, I'm taking off. You leaving already? Yeah, I want to go for a ride or something to clean my head. Well. I might have something to make you feel better. No thanks, I'm not high enough already. I'll see you tomorrow. Real nice, real nice. Comes over, doesn't give us any money, nothing. Nothing at all, just fucking smokes my shit. That's it. He's a fucking asshole. I don't know what his problem is. He likes cock and he's trying to hide it from his girlfriend. What do you think is fucking His girlfriend wrong? is a fucking cunt. I don't know why he just doesn't break up with her. I have no fucking idea. The kid's a fucking whack job. And I would give him a fucking break on the rent if he needed it. Dude, this is totally getting fucking retarded. Can we just like go fucking bone or something? Have a little sucky sucky? I'm fucking, I'm, I'm aggravated. I need some fucking sex. I'm sexually frustrated. Only I need to fuck you. Only if you're gonna ride me. I'm fucking exhausted. Yeah, fine, whatever. All right. Hey, neighbor. <laughs> Mr. Reed. Car trouble? Uh, no. It does this to me all the time. Mm. 
Where were you going this late? I was just going for a drive. I hope everything's all right. Everything's fine, thank you. Oh, you know, the police came to see me today. Yeah, they said someone in the neighborhood has been complaining about people looking into other people's windows. <laughs> Weird, huh? Yeah, I mean, they didn't say who made the call, but I could guess. <laughs> look, look, Mr. Reed, I try to be reasonable. I try to come to you You know, it's... Chad Morgan, I've lived in this neighborhood a long time, probably longer than you've been alive. Things have changed. Buildings, stores, neighbors. In fact, the only consistent thing is that this has always been a really nice place to live. We've never had any disturbances. Oh, sure, the little fucks up the street let off a bunch of fireworks on the 4th of July till 3 a.m. And we get the little pricks playing ding-dong ditch when the weather gets nice, but we've never had any real crime. And we've never had a peeping Tom. We've never had a lunatic prowling the street at night. Not until you got here, that is. Now I'm afraid to keep my windows open at night. Look, whoever you saw outside your window, I hope they catch you. I do. Because I don't want this to become a bad place to live. I want it to remain the nice, safe place it's always been. You understand what I'm saying? Of course you do. You're a smart guy. Look, I hope your car gets fixed. I do. I, I hate for it to be something serious and you couldn't get around from place to place, like back and forth to the police station. But, if you ever need a jump start, I'm right next door. Oh! I wanted to compliment you. Your place it's decorated much nicer than the last guy. <laughs> Good night. God damn it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, son. Slow down. Are you saying that this man threatened you? Yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. It doesn't sound to me like he threatened you. Look, he's not stupid. He's not just gonna come out with blatant threats. It's, it's not what he's saying. It's what he's insinuating. What he's insinuating? The thing about my car, it runs fine. Not once has it ever failed. Now, all of a sudden when he comes over to talk to me, it won't start. I, I had to jump on a bus to get here. I mean, it's obvious he did something to it. Can you, can you just take a look at the car? I'm not a mechanic, Mr. Morgan. All right, all right. What about the comment he made about my apartment, hmm? How it's decorated. Well, he's your neighbor. You may have seen it in passing. And you know, I suggest if you don't want strangers looking into your house that you close your blinds when you leave. I do! I do close them, and then when I get home, somehow they're magically open. Like someone came into my place and did it themselves. Any signs of forced entry? Oh, no. Anything stolen? No. Well, then what makes you think he's coming into your home just to open your blinds? It's like he's messing with me. Like he's trying to screw with my head. Why would I make this up? This, this guy, this guy is watching me. Why does this concern you so much? Do you have something to hide? No, of course not. It's, it's... Look, I feel like my privacy is being invaded. I shouldn't have to feel like a prisoner in my own home. Mr. Morgan, I don't know what you want me to do about this. I went and I spoke with the man, as I said I would, and he seems like a normal guy. Personally, I think you're blowing this out of proportion. <laughs> Alright, look. look. If you really think there's something going on here, then you've got to bring me some evidence. You know, if he is snooping around your house, there are ways of catching him in the act.
Hey, honey. What's with all the cameras? Oh, all these. We're making a movie. Do you want to be in it? It's going to be a good one. <laughs> See, it's about a young man waged in a battle with some certain force of evil determined to come up victorious no matter the cost. It's even got a few steam sex scenes. What's that smell? Mint. I just brushed my teeth. Hmm. Good question. What is this? <laughs> well, that'd be an axe there. See? It's a bladed tool commonly used to chop wood. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know what it is. Why do you have it? Oh, Sorry. Oh, Protection. Would've got a gun, but you need a permit. Plus, is that whole two-week waiting period just seems kind of illogical to me, so... I only keep it by the door when you're not here. Oh, give me the axe. Don't hurt yourself. Thanks. Because usually, whoop, it's under the bed. Okay, Chad. I know you're scaring the shit out of me, so just tell me what the hell is going on, okay? Look, actually, I didn't want to tell you this because I didn't want to get you upset, okay? Since you asked, this is the only right thing to let you know that we're being watched. What? Yeah. Our neighbor, Mr. Reed, he's been watching us from the minute we got here. Chad, you've been acting really weird lately, and I, I know that you haven't been sleeping, but I just... Why is it so hard to believe? Everybody talk to me like I'm nuts. Hmm, I wonder. You know what, actually? Why is it impossible that we just happen to have the misfortune of moving next door to a voyeuristic freak? I think you need to go lie down, okay? Maybe it's you. What? Have you been leaving the blinds open? Okay? No. Plug the phone cable back into the wall? No, Chad! I leave the blinds closed for a reason, Ashley. I unplug the cable from the wall on purpose. I really hope you're not the one doing this to me, because if you are... Stop better... it, Chad, okay? Enough! I don't touch anything in this shithole! Now will you stop acting crazy? <laughs> I'm acting crazy! Yeah, you are! Not really? Yes! <laughs> These fuckers, they just keep coming back. I mean, I try. Excuse me. One more. See these mini DV tapes? They only last about 60 minutes, but I figured it out. So if you put them on LP mode, they last for much longer. Yeah, it does degenerate the quality a little bit, but hey, I don't actually have a huge budget on my hands, so. What is this? Hmm. <laughs> Peppermint schnapps? Ashley, I don't need this shit anymore. You pinky swore, you asshole! Pinky swore, Ashley? Grow the fuck up. I'm an adult. You know what that is? That means I don't need your permission on whether or not I can have a drink. Do I? <sighs> For that matter. Oh, you're smoking now too? Happening to you? It's like I don't even know you anymore. You know, it's funny you say that because the feeling's mutual. Look, what little Miss Perfect forgot in the nightstand again. I can't help it if he keeps calling me. No, no, no. See, he didn't call you because if he called you, I'd be doing exactly what I said I'd be doing. This time, this time he left you. You 
want me to read it to you? <laughs> Just give it to you? I'll read it to you, okay? Ashley. I need to know that wherever you are, somehow you'll get this message and I will speak to you again. It's... It's kind of poetic for a text message, don't you think? What do you want me to do? You told me to never call him again? <laughs> Or speak to him? It's not like I can just call him up and explain that to him. No, no. But maybe if you weren't just a fucking whore in the first place, we wouldn't be in this predicament, would we? Fuck you! I hope you rot in this coffin. Oh yeah, that's it! Run away! Why'd you go run away and go shack up with the first guy who buys a $12 drink off of you? Why'd you mind your own fucking business? You called her a whore? I called her a fucking whore. Well, that wasn't very nice. I don't even know why I said it. That's a really bad thing to say to a girl. I know. I know it is. Then why did you say it? Because I'm an asshole. Well, that's obvious. I'm a jealous asshole who can't control his anger. Apparently not. You know, you don't have to agree with everything I say. What do I know, dude? I haven't had a boyfriend in like five years. How am I supposed to understand the complexities of a normal relationship? Let me out. Well, well, Joe, I, I gotta go. <sighs> um, thanks for listening. Anytime. Ash, what are you doing? Ashley. What does it look like I'm doing? Come on, Ash, we're in a little fight. Don't you think you're overreacting a bit? <laughs> overreacting? No, I don't think I'm overreacting. Calling your girlfriend a whore? Now, that might be perceived as overreacting. I, I didn't mean what I said. I wasn't thinking. I was just... Just what? Just drunk. I know you are. And you know how you get when you drink. Ash, listen. I didn't mean that. Ash, come on. Ugh, get away from me, Chad. Ash. I want to forget the past, Ash. You know, I try to so hard. I try to erase it from my mind completely, but sometimes it comes flooding back and my emotions get the best of me, okay? You can't just talk your way out of this. That's fine, I'll stop talking. I gotta go to work. No, don't. Morgan, this is Detective Winters. <clears throat> I received your tape. I'd like you to come down to the station tomorrow morning and speak to me in person. I would greatly appreciate it. Is there anything you want to tell me, son? What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, I've been very patient with you, very patient, but I got better things to do than to waste time with some punk kid who wants to come in here and screw with the local police department. Now I'm gonna ask you one more time. Is there anything you wanna tell me? <laughs> Are you serious? No, no, no. detective, look at me. I am not playing games with you. 
I have a legitimate issue here. I do tell me no matter how much this guy terrorizes me, whatever concrete evidence I provide you with, this whole goddamn situation is gonna be looked at as a fucking joke. Come on, are you serious? I reviewed that tape of yours. <laughs> yeah? You wanna see what I found? Yeah, I do. I watched this thing. Didn't answer any calls. Neglected the paperwork. And you know what I saw? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right there! You see it? Right there's the cut. Mm. Did you see it that time? I don't know. Play it back. <sighs> It's, it's very quick, all right? You're really gonna have to watch for this. Okay, so just keep your eyes peeled. Okay, look. There it is, it's right there! Did you see it that time? I'm just not seeing it. Yeah. Simple editing, okay? The camera's on a tripod, right? So the shot's never gonna change. What they did is they took the part read out. And they looped it with the existing footage, making it seem like he's not even on the tape. You know what that means, don't you? This guy, Detective Winters, he's obviously in on it. <laughs> Think I'm full of shit. Look, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it's improbable. I mean, why would he do that? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You didn't make any copies? No, I didn't make any copies. I, I gave it. I gave it to a detective. No, I don't have any. I... Look, I'm getting a beer. You want one? No. Um... Can I ask you a question? Do you think that maybe this whole thing is? Just in your head? What? Like I'm crazy or something. Did I say crazy? No. Don't put words in my mouth. I'm just suggesting that maybe you're a little stressed out by other things in your life and it's starting to take a toll on you. You wanna know what the scariest thing that ever happened to me was? staring at me from my bedroom window. Hmm. I remember earlier that week the news talking about how there was a peeping Tom in the neighborhood. People up the street, they, um, they found a ladder propped up to their second story window a few nights before. Wondering how many times he had looked in without me even knowing.
Ash, you okay? Ashley. Ash, what happened? What? What happened? Huh? Someone was watching me, too. Ashley, relax, okay? <laughs> just tell me what happened. I just want to go home. Please take me home, Chad. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right, Ashley, okay? Just tell me what happened. I'll take care of it. What happened? Ashley, stop crying. Just tell me what happened. Please, just take me home, Chad, please. Please, I just want to go home. What happened? You have to tell me or I can't help you. I what? just want to go home. Please, Dad. Please. Ashley. Oh. Ash. <laughs> Ashley, what the fuck happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Someone was watching me in the fucking shower. And he had a video camera. He had a camera. Yes, he had a camera. Yes, he had a fucking camera, just like one of yours. Are you fucking happy now? Are you fucking happy now? I want to go home. Do you hear me? You drunk piece of shit. I want to go home. Wait! Wait, open this door! Come on, I'm in there, Reed. Open the door! Is that what you do, Reed? You terrorize your neighbors, you know what you just fucked? With the wrong neighbor! Reed, open the fucking door! Ah! I'm gonna kill you! Reed, I'm gonna kill you! Ashley. Ash. Me. We're supposed listen, to be friends! Listen to me! Listen! Listen! I am not trying to fuck Jordan, okay? She came on to me and I told her I didn't have the same feelings towards her. It's all that happened, I swear to God! I just, I don't get it. You spend more time with me than you do with her. I love her. Oh yeah? And you can deal with your stupid paranoid bullshit. Look. It's just that... She and I have had this thing going on for years, and I'm sorry I hit you. You okay? Yeah, it's fine. What's with the axe? It's for protection. 
man. Look, uh, sorry I barged in here like that. I, I overreacted. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. A lot of feelings, right? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Sorry. Okay. Place looks really good. Thank you. You like it? Why are you answering Ashley's phone? You got balls, Jack. I think the question is why are you calling Ashley's phone? Look, listen to me. If you have her phone, you must know something, all right? Where is she? Look, why don't we cut the bullshit, Jack? We got in a fight. She left. She went home. I'm assuming the only other place she is is with you. Who the fuck is this? Why do you have my girlfriend's cell phone? Your girlfriend? I'm calling the fucking police, man. I'm gonna have them treat this call. Right, wait, wait a minute, hold on. She's really not with you, Jack. Ashley's been missing for months. No one can find her. How the fuck do you have her cell phone? Hello? Hello? What do you want, Chad? Have you seen Ash? What are you talking about? I don't know where she is, Jordan. We got in a fight, she disappeared, I have no idea where she went. You, you didn't happen to see her anywhere, did you? No, Chad, I haven't seen your girlfriend. I've never seen your girlfriend. I figured this much, I just wanted to ask. What do you mean you've never seen my girlfriend? She really scared the shit out of me right now. <laughs> I'm scaring you? <laughs> That's funny, Chad. I find it very ironic that I'm the one that's scaring you. Eleven 
dollars for that. And Lagavulin and 16. 11 is practically a discount. You guys carry Lagavulin 16 here. Only the best for the best. Oh, really? I'm Chad, by the way. I'm Ashley. Ashley? Mm-hmm. So, time to get off work, Ashley. Late. Well, what time's late? We passed your bedtime. Oh. I doubt it. Look, I stay up a lot later than you think. <laughs> Look, I mean, I was going to say, if you want, we can go for a drink afterwards, you know? I figured I owe you after your generosity. No, you don't owe me anything. I'm ready. Come on. You're going to make me strike out twice in one night? <laughs> no, you're not. Look, I know a decent bar or two blocks of me. Now, they don't have lag of 16 or all your other fancy stuff, but we can get something pretty strong. Look, I'm really sorry, but mm. I have a boyfriend. really tacky, but I'd work for tips, so it's just, it's better for me if it looks like I'm still in the market. I'm sorry. You want another shot? Um, yeah, I guess. Sure. Thanks. Just thought you were a nice guy, Chad. How many times did you follow me home? How many times have you looked in my window? How long did it take before you finally snapped? Hey you. Hey you. Hello. Ashley. It's me. Oh, uh, hey you. Hey. I haven't seen you around the bar lately. Yeah. Where are you headed? Home. Home? Let me give you a ride. Oh. Uh, no, no, come on. Get in. It's cold out tonight. I got in your car and then you hurt me. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, how you get when you drink. Is that true? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm You're sorry. sorry. You promise? You promise? Huh? Huh? Pinky swear. Pinky swear. You're sorry. I'm sorry. You can let me out on this corner, right, right up here. But your house is six blocks from here. How did you know that? I really want to get out of the car. Can you please just pull the car over? Can you please stop fucking saying that? So how long have you been following me for? How long have you been following me? I don't know what you're talking about. Fucking creep. What, are you gonna kill me?
this corridor is our most secluded. It houses the patients that are watched over somewhat more closely than the others that reside in the previous ones. These ones in particular have more violent histories in their files and tend to show more aggressive behavior than most of our other patients. Generally, this will mean they have special needs, require stronger doses of medication, and although you're less likely to be stationed in this area, we do like to expose all of our potential new hires to what the staff has affectionately dubbed the dark side of the institution. Like that say the science fiction films. Precisely. Here in 223, we have Mr. Miggs, sexual deviant, suffering from severe psychosis, which was brought on by a traumatic childhood. Here in room 225, Mr. Torrance. Mr. Torrance is a hostile recluse, showed early signs of schizophrenia long before he attempted to murder his family with an ax. Here in 227, we have... Hmm. I don't recognize this patient. Must be somebody new. Ah, uh, yes. Maybe the doctor can help. Excuse me. Doctor. Yes, Alex. Doctor, do you know who the new patient is in observation 227? One of our recent additions. The patient's name is Chad Morgan. Paranoid delusional, suffers severe dementia, which has been theorized as manifesting brutal violent behavior. Such as? Such as beating a girl to death. All are advised to treat the patient with extreme caution as we currently speculate more episodes of aggressive conduct. Yes. Well, let me show you both to the cafeteria. <laughs> 